jasonnewland.com My name's Jason Newland and this is Deep Sleep Whisper Hypnosis Please only listen to this when you can safely close your eyes If you like what I do then please go to my website and leave a review There's actually a page called Review or Reviews where you can click on that Also, if you'd like to support this free service, please go to paypal.me forward slash Jason Newland or go on the website and also subscribe if you'd like to. I should have all that taped, shouldn't I, so I could just pre-record it rather than say it every time. Anyway, what I'm going to do in this recording just going to talk to you so I'd like you to get yourself comfortable I'd like you to get yourself in a position where you physically feel relaxed and calm so you know you could be sitting down on a bed laying on a bed um, sitting up in a bed chair, whatever feels comfortable for you. And it's going to be a little bit different perhaps from, well all the recordings are a little bit different, yet some of them are quite similar. I think I just contradicted <laughs> myself there. But I want to focus on is it that you want for yourself not what do you consciously want for yourself but what is it that your unconscious mind wants for you and you may you may be completely unable to answer the question it might be a weird question in fact it probably is quite a strange question what is it that your unconscious mind wants for you? I'm going to tell you what that is. Your unconscious wants you to be healthy and happy. That's what it wants for you. It wants you to be happy. Your unconscious mind wants to give you those things that you need. And all the resources are there within your unconscious mind but sometimes the way perhaps we communicate with our unconscious mind doesn't let our unconscious mind know exactly what it is that you actually want or need in order to fulfill those things that you require in your life for example, sleeping easily and naturally. Now, sleeping easily is something that we were all born to do. We didn't have to learn it. But something like insomnia is something that we had to learn. Having an overactive mind was something that we had to learn to do. And it's because of practice that's perhaps made us so good at it. You know, that overthinking. And I mentioned overthinking quite a lot that's the thing that I get told about from people that listen is that's the like number one thing that gets in the way of just drifting off into a natural deep sleep of course 
course there's other things that can get in the way chronic pain for example an unusually stressed body maybe not really known why but perhaps due to your lifestyle which maybe at this moment can't be changed there's things in your life that maybe you're unable to change right now but that doesn't mean that you have to wait until it all the circumstances are perfect before you allow yourself to absorb the ideas to, and suggestions that change your sleeping habits in a way that allows you to just sleep more easily and let go of some of those thoughts are not really any longer useful to you. So that's kind of what this is about. This is about getting in touch with what your unconscious mind wants for you and that is for you to be happy. And in order for you to be happy you need to be able to sleep. sleep, your unconscious mind needs to know that that's what you want, not just want but need, so it's almost like going back to your unconscious mind and letting it know that there's these habits that we've learned that are not useful anymore. that maybe get in the way of us drifting off into a deep sleep more easily and naturally. Things like worries, family issues, perhaps the educational stuff, exams, and a job interview, a wedding coming up, job problems, whatever it might be. ask your unconscious mind to just allow you to reset your mind reset back to the ability to just sleep easily and naturally that you were born with that ability it's almost like rebooting so, you know, like with a laptop, resetting back to factory settings just for this particular thing. To reset your mind and your body. To override those learnings that maybe are no longer useful. To override those thought processes that maybe the overactive mind and thinking that is no longer useful at that time that you wish to sleep. So that reset button set your sleeping habits back to what they were when you were first born. It doesn't mean that you're going to be sleeping all the time like a newborn baby. What it means is you can just lay down, put your head on the pillow, and just drift off to sleep easily, without anything going on in your mind, because it's not necessary. And besides, that's what dreaming is for. You can allow whatever's on your mind before you go to sleep to be sorted out and organized.
Christ. around your body you've got 
nothing to do with that. Hearing my voice now is nothing for you to do. As long as you press the play button and you make sure the volume is loud enough, your ears just hear. That's what they just naturally do. Your body naturally relaxes when you lay down because that's the natural thing for your body to do when you lie down is for your body to relax because your body and your unconscious mind knows that when you lie down it's time to go to sleep. the association with lying down and going to sleep and that's what children do little children the only time they lie down in a bed is when they go to sleep and that's what they associate with sleeping lie down on a bed and they go to sleep natural thing one of the most natural processes that we have inside us other than breathing breathing sleeping most other things we've had to learn to do even eating we have to eat but we have to learn how to eat Know how, didn't have to learn how to suck the mother's milk but as far as eating, chewing putting food in your spoon putting it in your mouth we had to learn that sleeping, no learning we were born with that superpower to sleep and your unconscious mind wants you to be happy your unconscious mind is your best friend. It's basically your twin. The twin that you've never met. Always looking out for you. Loves you unconditionally. Wants the best for you. Because it is you. Except it's just not your conscious mind. The part that's thinking about things all the time unconscious mind listens to what you're thinking about and tries to give you what you're thinking about does not discriminate so therefore it doesn't pick what's best for you it just assumes if you're thinking about something a lot then that must be what you want more of and we all know that we don't always think about things that we want more of it's quite often the complete opposite that's what positive thinking is thinking about what you do want not what you don't want thinking about and imagining laying down on your bed your head touches a pillow and your mind slows down naturally and instantly automatically and without effort there's no effort involved so from 1 to 10 your effort is 9 so I'm going to go to sleep, I want to go to sleep now, there and all that. You're probably not going to go to sleep. But as you reduce that effort level, you get it to the middle where it's maybe a five, a four. You don't even care if you go to sleep. It's unimportant. And it goes below that. just assume that you can fall asleep because that's what is natural 
and also you've done it thousands and thousands of times in the past. You've slept thousands and thousands of times successfully. You're basically an Olympic gold medalist in sleeping. Even if you've had insomnia for 10 years, you've still gold level level, gold level level, gold medal level sleeper. Based on how many times in, in your life that you have naturally fell asleep. The skills are already there. Maybe they're a little bit rusty. Which is why maybe, possibly, clicking that reset button, that reboot, reverting back to factory settings just for the sleeping can allow you to now know that from now onwards things will be different and you expect things to be different you expect yourself to naturally feel relaxed and calm when you lie down and you know that it's pointless putting any effort in so you don't bother. And the rest just happens naturally. The rest happens naturally. says reset has the word reset or I could just have a colored button but you know what it represents <laughs> 